welcome back to my youtube channel this is ryan ponce this video is about hiding and unhiding all of the worksheets except for one now i've made a sample workbook here with multiple worksheets we have the summary raw data one up to raw data five the way how we normally hide and unhide the worksheets would be in this way we just go ahead and right click hide now if we want if we want to unhide it we right click and unhide and then select the worksheet name that you want to unhide and it has to be one at a time now what i'm going to show you is a visual basic um, code or a macro wherein you would be able to hide and unhide all of the worksheets except for one and um, you can put it in a, I mean you can put the command in a button so once you click the button it will hide or unhide everything for you except for one worksheet so let's go ahead and add a module I'm gonna name it as hide You may copy the code once complete for each worksheet in sheets. Now, if worksheet name is not equal to, let's say, summary. Then okay, so WS would be short for worksheet. I'm just going to create another um, tutorial explaining how variable um, declarations um, work um, because this portion here is a declaration. All you need to check on this one would be this portion. So it simply says if the worksheet name is not equal to a worksheet name summary, then it has to be hidden. After that, it will check for the next worksheet. So I'm going to go ahead and run this macro and observe the worksheets below if it's going to be hidden there you go so all of the worksheets got hidden and that's just by running this macro now if we want to make it visible we're going to have to unhide it one at a time so imagine having more than 10 or maybe more than um, 30 sheets to be unhidden you're going to be wasting your time so we have to reverse it by using another macro we're just going to copy it and we'll say it's subroutine unhide instead of sheet hidden we're going to change this command into visible So this time it means that for every sheet, if the worksheet name is not equal to summary, then I want you to make the sheet visible. 
then it will check for the next worksheet name. So let me go ahead and run this macro. There you go. So all of the hidden sheets were now visible. So to make this two different commands um, be easier to um, use, we we'll just add a shape or a picture. All right, and one for and hide. Assign the macro and test. We'll just add another code here to go back selecting the uh, summary worksheet. There you go. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you could learn more about macro and Excel.